All right, is everybody ready to go? Microphone's ready to go, obviously. The weather's great, everybody's smiling. <laughs> Cardboard all around us. In very neat condition. So good morning to all of you and thank you for joining us this morning. We want to thank Mid-America Recycling for hosting us today, of course. Uh, and we're here because we're talking about the future of recycling in the capital city. I want to begin by introducing to you just quickly our speakers today. Jamie Carson and Louise uh, Lynch are here today. Raise your hands if you would. Uh, they're with Carson & Co. Global, and that's the firm that's been helping us with our recycling education efforts. Scott Niederhaus, I hope I pronounced that correctly, is with uh, Niederhaus Refuse and uh, Recycling. Uh, he's here representing the garbage and the recycling uh, collectors who are the essential component of all these efforts. Uh, these companies and their employees do an outstanding job every day uh, and you can appreciate how hard it would be to do an outstanding job on a day like today. And they're out there, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a hard job and uh, even sometimes uh, a dangerous job and sorry for the recent loss. Uh, but I do want to uh, thank everybody who's involved in the hauling business for keeping our city clean and healthy. And then we have Gene Hanlon uh, with us today, who's the city's recycling coordinator. Been with us a long time, been doing a great job for us for a long time. And Tammy Rogers is with Assurity Life Insurance Company, and she's going to share with us uh, some thoughts about the benefits of business recycling. We also have with us today a number of our recycling ambassadors. Raise your hand if you consider yourself an ambassador. All right, thank you for being here today. And there are other stakeholders and partners out there and we're glad to have them all here today. We're fortunate to, be, uh, to live in a, a growing and thriving city. Every day we're looking to the future and how we can leave a better city to our children and our grandchildren. And over the last few years, we've been taking a closer look at how we pass on a cleaner and greener Lincoln to future generations. Behind me, you see, and to the side, you see uh, some of the cardboard that our residents are currently recycling. What you don't see is the tremendous amount of cardboard that is still going to our landfill. Last year, residents sent nearly 39 million pounds of cardboard to the landfill, and that makes up about 9.5% of the material that garbage collectors take to the landfill altogether. Cardboard is the single largest recyclable material that we currently just throw away. Starting April 1st, uh, that's going to change. Corrugated cardboard will no longer be accepted for disposal at our landfill. So April 1st is the change date. April 1st is the day we no longer accept corrugated cardboard at the landfill. And Lincoln is the first community in Nebraska uh, to take this step towards a more sustainable future. As you can see, or I hope you can see, uh, many Lincoln residents already recycle. They use the city's convenient drop-off sites or they subscribe to curbside recycling pickup. Now it's time for the rest of the community to take this simple step to extend the life of our landfill and to protect our environment and our quality of life. There's an economic incentive here too. Last year we paid to bury 19,000 tons of cardboard. But cardboard is in such high demand by paper mills that over $2.3 million could have been injected into the local economy if that cardboard had been recycled. 
It's estimated that 35 new local jobs could have been created to collect and process the corrugated cardboard. While Lincoln is a national leader in many, many areas, sadly, recycling is not one of them. Our recycling rate currently lags behind the national average. This one change, keeping cardboard, corrugated cardboard out of the landfill, will be a huge leap forward in meeting our community's goal to substantially increase our city's recycling rate from about 21% to about 31%. Today we are kicking off our education campaign for Lincoln and for Lancaster County residents and businesses. We're encouraging the public to take it to the bin, right? Uh, and providing the information that residents and businesses uh, need to make our recycling efforts more successful, especially when it comes to keeping uh, cardboard out of the landfill. Lincoln residents already work with the city to comply with state law and keep yard waste out of the landfill between April and December. Uh, we have experience in keeping appliances, vehicle tires, and batteries and hazardous waste out of the landfill and have been greatly successful in those areas. Now it's time to add cardboard to that list. And over the past year, we've been developing the tools that everybody will need for success. Now is the time to take the steps to be sure that your family and your business uh, comply with the new law. You'll find easy to understand information on the website, the city website, recycle.lincoln.ne.gov. Our garbage and recycling collectors, uh, like Niederhaus, uh, stand ready with a variety of services to meet your specific needs at a reasonable cost. If you choose not to subscribe to a recycling service, you can drop off your cardboard and other recycling for free at one of the 28 drop-off sites in Lincoln and Lancaster County. Recycling corrugated cardboard moves us closer to achieving the goals of our two broad community initiatives with respect to the environment, the Lincoln Environmental Action Plan, which we call LEAP, and the city's Solid Waste Management Plan. These two plans uh, chart the course for our community uh, in terms of meeting the environmental challenges ahead. They were developed with a great deal of community input and outstanding work by our city staff, including Public Works and Utilities Assistant Director Donna Garden, Solid Waste Manager Carla Welding, uh, Recycling Coordinator uh, uh, Jean, who's here, and our Sustainability Manager Frank uh, Ularic. I also want to recognize the again, the 40-plus garbage and recycling collectors for their involvement and their input and their leadership. It's been a, a great team effort. Uh, with that, uh, I think at this point, we need to hear from our other speakers with regard to taking it to the bin. Uh, but first, uh, I want to give you a short idea of some of the educational materials that you will begin seeing in a moment. So I think at this time we're going to roll the 30-second PSA. Is that right? Okay. And we're back at the home of Maria Wright, who just scored major points by recycling. Let's go to replay. Look, there's a package. Dick, starting April 1st, corrugated cardboard. See that ripple? It must be kept out of the trash. It's not garbage. Both the garbage can and the recycling bin are open. Maria takes it to the bin. It's good! Maria uses easy curbside pickup, but you can recycle for free at any public drop-off site. Join the team. And take it to the bin. Learn more at recycle.lincoln.ne.gov. I tried that little flip with the hand. Take some practice. 
All right, uh, Jamie and Louise, your turn. Please come up and tell us what you've been up to. All right, and Julie and Kim, if you'd like to join us at the front as well. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're staying warm. Glad to be here today. Our team at Carson & Co Global has been working tirelessly on, on this comprehensive residential and commercial recycling program since August of 2017. My name is Jamie Carson. I'm CEO of Carson & Co Global, based here in Lincoln, Nebraska. We specialize in promoting sustainable and environmentally responsible practices here in Lincoln as well as across the US. Here with me today, <clears throat> Standing around me are just a few of my colleagues uh, working on this program. We have three organizations that have partnered to lead the program, Carson & Co Global, we have Veritas Group based out of Omaha, and Nebraska Recycling Council based out of Lincoln. Dr. Louise Lynch, here to my right, is our Director of Research and Outreach at Carson & Co Global. She's helping to head up the program. We also have here today Kim Morrow of Veritas Group, Senior Associate, and Julie Deagle, Executive Director of the Nebraska Recycling Council. Uh, Dr. Lynch is going to follow me up with a brief program overview. Um, overall, we encourage you to visit the City of Lincoln's re recycling website for these educational resources, as Mayor Beitler mentioned. Also on the website are cheat sheets for various commercial sectors, fun graphics and videos that you can share on social media, links to garbage and recycling collectors here in the city of Lincoln. Uh, so you can access and, and ask questions of any, any garbage or recycling collector or sign up for your curbside recycling service, as well as a plethora of other information and translated materials as well. That website that you can search is recycle.lincoln.ne.gov. And Dr. Lynch. Thanks. Louise is fine. Good morning. <laughs> Um, since the fall, we've been working with City of Lincoln and Lancaster County residents and businesses to develop a recycling education and promotional plan suited uh, to our city. In the process, we've developed resources and materials and planned events and outreach in partnership with a multitude of groups. Our city's unsung heroes managing companies and running routes for recycling collection, community and cultural centers, multifamily housing associations and property management companies, the construction and demolition sector, higher education, sustainability leadership, and student organizations, organizations providing services to the elderly, Lincoln Public Schools, and more. Community engagement is a critical component of our work. We want to thank um, the recycling ambassadors and stakeholder committees uh, members for joining us today and for helping inform our work leading up to this day. We're also providing free and customized advisory, customized advisory services to a number of businesses. As part of the Waste Reduction and Recycling Assistance Program, organizations can access city grants to help with recycling program costs. If businesses want to know where they stand in terms of waste impact, they can easily visit our online assessment tool at recycle.lincoln.ne.gov. I hope you'll remember that website. Anything about, uh, oh. We're working closely with the commercial sector, including, for example, specific activities geared toward multifamily housing and construction and demolition. Just this week, we hosted a lunch and learn with Nebraska Recycling Council to help property owners and managers implement recycling into their facilities. We're also managing a citywide marketing and an advertising campaign, including billboards, bus wraps, TV and print advertising, a social media campaign and video series, which you saw one, one example, media interviews, community presentations, and more. We are actively coordinating a multicultural and multilingual campaign to provide resources to the Arabic, Spanish, and Vietnamese-speaking communities. Finally, we are keeping track of our progress by monitoring impact and collecting data both at the landfill and from collectors. On behalf of CCG and our partners, Veritas Group and Nebraska Recycling Council, we are excited to reach launch day and reduce the amount of corrugated cardboard and other recyclable materials that are being deposited in our landfill. I'm mean, pleased, pleased to introduce one of our recycling and garbage collection partners uh, working on this effort. Scott Niederhaus of Niederhaus Refuse is here. Um, and this community's voice and contributions in our city are second to none. We're grateful for Scott to be here uh, with us today on behalf of his company, the community, as well as the Lincoln Solid Waste and Recycling Association. Scott. 
Thank you, Dr. Lynch. Good morning. My name is Scott Niederhaus with Niederhaus Refuse and Recycling. I'm here representing the Solid Waste and Recycling Association of Lincoln. We as an association are here today to support the mayor in his cardboard ban. Cardboard is a staple in our trash and it's a growing part of our waste stream. 9% of all waste generated each year is recyclable cardboard. So then you have to ask yourself, what do you do with this? Knowing how to start a recycling program seems like a big job. But residents and businesses of Lincoln have lots of resources, including your service provider, the City of Lincoln. There are lots of resources out there that will help you to get a program started. If they cannot, they can contact you with someone that will help you with this program. Now is the time to contact your service provider to learn more about your options for recycling cardboard and other recyclables. You can contact your uh, service provider, ask them questions about what type of services are available, single stream recycling, cardboard recycling, or maybe you just need a one-time pickup. We are willing to work with anyone to accommodate their needs. Maybe you only generate four corrugated boxes a month. Call us, we'll set something up to uh, take care of that for you. If you have questions how this ban affects what you put at the curb, again, contact your provider for more information. If you have not signed up for a recycling collection service yet, please contact your provider to see what services they have available. Recycling collection ser service is offered at affordable rate in, Li in Lincoln. Please contact your provider to set up a service based on your needs. Prices will vary based upon the, your needs. We are ready to take your calls and help you comply with the new city law. Thanks to the city for providing resources for us to, and our customers to get the word out. Remember, change is never easy, but once it becomes a habit, it is no longer a burden. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Scott. Uh, as part of this campaign, uh, the city is recognizing those businesses that are effectively adapting to uh, the waste reduction and recycling programs. And our city recycling coordinator, Gene, uh, is going to come tell us more about that program. And I think we have some initial certificates to acknowledge people's efforts, if I understand it right. Yes, yes, we do. Thank you very much, Mayor. Uh, one of the new programs that the city has initiate, initiated as part of our education campaign is to really recognize those businesses that are leaders in recycling and have, and have put um, solid programs together to divert waste uh, from the landfill. Uh, we're calling it the, the Recycle Lincoln Leadership Recognition Program. Um, and, and we want to recognize those businesses that are contributing to sustainability uh, in our community. And, and this is an uh, example of the logo that uh, we will have. We recognize businesses on uh, four levels. Um, bronze, silver, gold, and, and zero waste. And that's based on the amount of waste that they divert uh, from the landfill. Uh, we are pleased to announce uh, today the first five organizations to be inducted into this recognition program. Uh, I'd like to um, invite uh, a few of those business representatives up if, if, if they would come. Uh, Carrie Marshall with the Arbor Day Foundation. Um, Tammy Rogers with the surety is already here. And I, we, we hope to have a, a, a couple of girls from the uh, Gamma Phi Beta sorority, but I, I don't uh, uh, see them here. Oh, we do have that. This is Lauren Stottinger, or Sydney. Cindy uh, Engberg with the uh, Gamma Phi Beta sorority uh, at UNL. Uh, Pat Anderson uh, C. Fuentes uh, with NeighborWorks Lincoln. Uh, and John Cruz with um, Region 5 Systems. Each of these organizations uh, 
are being recognized today as recycling le leaders at the gold level uh, because they all recycle at least 40% uh, of, of the waste uh, that they generate. Um, each, uh, as part of our, our program, each organization will receive a, a certificate uh, and we provide them with window clings um, that has the recycle uh, Lincoln uh, gold uh, on it so uh, uh, employees and customers can uh, uh, find out about it as well as a poster uh, for um, their operations. So with the uh, mayor's help, I'd like to um, present these awards. Uh, Arbor Day Foundation, uh, with Kerry here, uh, uh, recycles uh, as, uh, as well as compost organic material and recycles at the rate of 43 percent. Uh, the Gamma Phi Beta Sorority also uh, collects organics for recycling, and they, they recycle 55 percent of, of their waste. And uh, NeighborWorks uh, 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 collects recyclables. And, and they recycle at, at 53 percent, and uh, Region 5 Systems uh, recycles uh, at, at 45 percent, so thank you very much, and then uh, Assurity uh, recycles at uh, 53 percent. Um, and I, I was hoping to take a picture with a uh, group picture, Mayor, with, with these recipients. Gene, maybe we did after. Okay, we'll yeah. do that. So we'll, we'll do that after. Um, So, so please stick around, and please, please give them a round of applause for their leadership in in recycling. Um, starting re recycling programs is actually um, simpler than a lot of, of, of businesses might might think. Uh, we have been working with Assurity Life uh, Insurance uh, on uh, developing a video of of how they can they have uh, developed a sustainable culture within their organization uh, and developed a, a, a YouTube video and I'd like to uh, introduce Tammy uh, Rogers uh, that will give us a glimpse into the company's sustainability uh, measures and and why it's important to them so Tammy good morning we're very excited to be a part of this kickoff event Assurity re recycles because we have long recognized that we have a greater social responsibility to our employees, our customers, and the community and the environment. We've learned that our customers want to do business with a company that practices sustainability. And we've learned that people want to work for a company that encourages and educates people on green practices both at work and at home. And we believe it's the right thing to do. Because of those reasons, Assurity has done some form of recycling since 1982, starting with uh, aluminum cans and paper. In 1995, Assurity became a member of WasteCap. In 2010, our Volunteer Sustainability Task Force was formed with the goal of raising employee awareness through education, quarterly lunch and learns, and displays. Since that time, we have graduated to single stream recycling. So in addition to those items, we recycle newspapers, cardboard, plastics, batteries, computer equipment, uh, kitchen grease, and much more. With the new upcoming cardboard, corrugated cardboard ban, there's really nothing we'll have to change about our program because we've had these practices in place for so long. But we do see it as an opportunity to educate our employees about the ban and also to encourage other businesses to start recycling as well. So where do you go from here if you're a business that wants to start a program or improve the current one? As the others have mentioned, the first stop is definitely the city's website. There's a wealth of information out there of a variety of kinds. You can fill out an application, as they mentioned, for their assistance program to have someone come in and evaluate where your current program is or where the best place to start is. And you can apply for the leadership recognition program, as we did. The bottom line is this, is you just need to start somewhere. And to start, you don't have to have 400 employees like we do. You don't have to have a lead gold building. You don't have to have a sustainability task force. You just need people that are passionate about sustainability and protecting our environment. So don't wait. This campaign is a perfect place to start. It's a great opportunity for all of us to work together 
to do more to build an economy that preserves our quality of life for future generations. So please join Assurity in taking it to the bin. Thank you. Assurity has been a leader in the city in so many different ways, and, and uh, please thank your people for all their efforts, and especially today for their efforts in this area. Uh, and hopefully we can all learn from the example. So with that, uh, are there questions? Yeah? Yes, it's, it's, it's directed towards uh, all who produce waste uh, and it's focused uh, on residents. Uh, so uh, everybody in the city will be involved and everybody in the city who's not uh, currently recycling in, in one way or another needs to, uh, needs to get the word about what's going on. No, you know, this is a new thing for a city and its residents, and we're not going to be fining anybody. We're not going to be being mean to anybody. We're going to be educating people and trying to get them to understand why we're doing it. And we think when they understand why they're doing it and they see all their neighbors doing it, I think they'll be just fine with it. I'm, if I heard you correctly, you, you're saying you think the citizens of Lincoln are passionate about cleaner, greener? Yeah. Oh, I hope so, and I believe so, uh, and all of our uh, polling that we've ever done indicates an ever-increasing consciousness about the environment and about sustainability and global warming, uh, and rightfully so, in my opinion, and I think Cities generally in America are taking the lead on these efforts, and in Lincoln, I think we're ever as conscious of it as any place else, and increasingly conscious of the problem. Uh, and I think people are becoming enthusiastic about uh, a, a team and community approach to getting the best of this problem, as we have so many times in the past with other kinds of problems that have come up from time to time. Yeah. Are there going to be uh, recycling uh, You know, we already have a lot of trash bins in, in those situations around town. Uh, but <laughs> the uh, the first effort is is the collection sites, uh, 28 of them, Gene? Yes. Uh, which are designed for that purpose of separating out uh, different kinds, kinds of uh, products. Uh, so that's the first effort, is to get people to, uh, to use those sites if they're not uh, participating in uh, at-home recycling. Uh, and uh, I don't think in some of our facilities, I know we've addressed the separation problem and we do have separate kinds of bins for different kinds of recycling, but I'm not sure about parks and outdoor situations. I'll let Gene speak to that. Uh, currently, the Downtown Lincoln Association has well over 80 containers down, down, downtown for single stream uh, recycling. Um, it's, and then we've worked with the Parks and Recreation Department that all of their rentable shelters for picnics have single stream recycling and cardboard recycling at those facilities. Um, and even uh, in some of our parking garages, we have uh, single stream recycling uh, facilities uh, at uh, selected uh, sites. And we hope to work with those organizations to expand that to their other parking facilities. Um, so, so there is efforts in place to provide that in, in on-the-go types of recycling. 
expanding efforts. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, you good to go? Thank you for coming out today. Appreciate it. You know why we call this family meeting. Your online purchasing has reached a troublesome level. Damage to our college funds aside, you've turned our home into a monument to the wonders of corrugated cardboard. Cora, what? Boxes, people, look around. Corrugated cardboard is a wavy or fluted paper sheet glued between two outer paper layers used to make all of these. It's practically our roommate at this point. Well, we haven't gotten around to throwing it away yet. As well you shouldn't, and that's what we need to talk about. The situation is so critical that we've decided to bring in an expert to show you why corrugated cardboard is not garbage. Who wants to be a recycling champion? <laughs> I didn't hear you. We do? <laughs> wow. Mr. and Mrs. Coupon Code need a lot of help. You called me just in time. Starting April 1st, corrugated cardboard is banned from the landfill. And starting right now, we begin your training as recycling champions. This may be tougher than I thought. <laughs> Luckily, recycling in Lincoln is easy. And by recycling your corrugated cardboard, you're doing good for the community, helping our city conserve resources and reduce waste going to the landfill. Anyone can take it to the bin. You've got three plays to make. Household residents can recycle at public drop-off sites for free. These recycling sites are located throughout Lincoln. Visit recycle.lincoln.ne.gov to find the site nearest you. Subscribe to Curbside Recycling. Contact your local garbage or recycling collector to find out what service is available in your neighborhood. If you live in an apartment, look for shared recycling containers for your building or complex. We're ready to take it to the bin! Put us in the game, coach! Not so fast, rookies. A real recycling champion removes all packing materials and flattens cardboard boxes. This makes for easier storage and saves room in the recycling containers at the drop-off sites. Get to work! Notice anything different about this one? Your foot is on it? Yes, and grease and food remains and... Oh, I don't even know what that is. I hope it's just water. Oh, it doesn't smell like it. Your play with this box is different because wet and soiled cardboard cannot be recycled. This needs to go in the garbage so it doesn't contaminate your other recyclables. Recyclable cardboard means clean and dry corrugated cardboard. It's the law. Hey coach, we gotta go. Guy down the street's trying to recycle styrofoam. Lincoln residents throw out 37.5 million pounds of cardboard every year. Make the right play with corrugated cardboard. Take it to the bin. Visit recycle.lincoln.ne.gov for the details. Lincoln is proud to announce the Take It to the Bin campaign. Take It to the Bin is all about increasing recycling in Lincoln and ensuring all residents know about the corrugated cardboard disposal ban starting April 1, 2018. Assurity Life is a great model for recycling in an office setting. Assurity is a leader in corporate sustainability here in Lincoln and the company's top leaders have built a culture of sustainability within their office. They lead these initiatives through their sustainability task force. Given the environmental challenges that our world faces, um, I think that any uh, forward-thinking business uh, needs to embrace uh, more sustainable practices. He wanted to um, 
reinforce the culture that's so important to our company and take it really to another level. We have lunch and learns, we do a lot of things to encourage our associates to think about adopting more sustainable, sustainable practices. He wanted a group of people that could educate uh, our employees, could propose perhaps new green practices for the company, particularly as we moved into our new building. We help out with different educational campaigns and kind of reminding our associates of what you can and can't recycle. Easy to get used to, they make it easy with the facilities. Assurity makes it as easy as possible for their employees to utilize recycling options over waste and landfill options. With recycling bins at every desk and no waste bins in sight, Assurity has built recycling into their company culture and continues to keep recycling education going and employees engaged through several practices. Now, we're always looking for new ways to reduce or recycle. When we're working with new vendors or even longtime vendors, we'll do reviews of what kind of supplies can we get, what's out there, what services are out there. You know, so we learn a lot just from talking to the people we work with. Each of us individually have our own uh, little recycling bin in each, each office. Our toner recycling, um, Toshiba came out with a great program called Close the Loop, made it really simple for us. We simply call them up, they send us shipping boxes with a nice little liner bag whenever our toner's out. Um, throughout the building, they can call a mail center associate. They'll come pick it up, take it to the recycling area. They, you know, and then once that's filled up, box it up, send it on its way. It's really simple. It's really an ongoing thing. We don't have a formal like recycling orientation when someone starts, but we have education going on all year. The main thing that we looked at was it has to be easy. Our recycling bins, you have one right at your desk. They're you know, located right next to copiers and these common places that you're going to go all the time. There are no trash receptacles there. If you want to throw something away, you would have to go to more of a kitchen area, like one of our pantries or the cafeteria to actually find a, a waste bin. I think it's a pretty good deal. It makes you think about things differently just when you're uh, on your day-to-day -day things. While employees are educated on several recycling practices and guidelines, the company has also put together a sustainability task force. The job of the task force is to keep employees up to date on sustainability initiatives happening in and outside of the office, volunteer opportunities, overall goals, events, and more. Because of the sustainability task force, a number of employees have found ways to take what they've learned at work and incorporate it at home. Well, it's not long after I'd been here, they had a deal where you get a discount on recycling service at home. You know, it was a, kind of an introductory deal. And my wife and I decided to give that a try and worked out pretty well. It was pretty easy and started doing that and we continued continued on with it. We do what I would call a soft sell here. It's not politicized, it's not pushed, it's just part of our culture and it becomes part of people that work here. That the biggest thing we've done for, for many of our associates is raise their awareness of, of what they can do. As you can see, Assurity takes recycling and sustainability practices seriously. It's evident through how much both the company and their employees have benefited from being a part of a sustainable culture. It's very rewarding and I'm the kind of person I want to, I want to love my job and I want to do things that I'm passionate about and to be able to have a job in a company that is passionate about this makes my job all that more rewarding. You know, we all want to come to work and love our job, but to be able to be given an opportunity to also participate in something not necessarily directly related to work um, and lead that and see what it can accomplish in the company, that's just very personally rewarding to me. We're about what's good for our associates, of course, what's good for our customers, what's good for our distributors, and what's good for the bigger community the wider community, and I think any forward-thinking business these days has to adopt that, uh, that thought process, that approach to business. Lincoln is proud to have Assurity as one of the models to follow for recycling. Get the details on how you can take it to the bin at recycle.lincoln.ne.gov.